Hi there, welcome to Pixelisco. In today's topic, I am going to discuss about Creta 4 and upcoming features of this particular release. And uh, for those of you who don't know, Creta 4 pre alpha is already uploaded to the website and I have already tested it. And there are lots of new features and lots of bug fixes and performance improvements. So it's not just a little mere release, it's a big overhaul for all the Krita users and that's really exciting. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is our Krita 4. Let's get started with creating a new document. And you already know that this is a new version as the icons are quite different than the previous version. So I press create and our new canvas is here. So I'll start from the quick access panel. So here is my quick access and from now in Krita 4, you can rotate your canvas from here and you can um, zoom out and zoom in and you can uh, mirror the image. I have to demonstrate it uh, by drawing something. So I am drawing something here and if I now right click and mirror it, it will mirror. You can alternatively do, do this by pressing the M also. And in the brush preset, we now have the icon size slider. So that you can change the icon sizes uh, to see more icons at once. Or you can get them uh, to appear in more detailed form. In the brush engine, in the brush engine, we have complete overall of design. Now we don't have the brush presets here, it is here now and we can collapse this and we can also collapse the scratch pad as well. And now we have the brush previewer here and some curved presets. So this is a live preview of the brush according to the settings here and we can change the brush uh, curve presets and we can see that this is already updating. So this is really exciting. Now uh, I'll talk about a new feature that was uh, not in, uh, included in Krita 3. There is this new tool and scripts and recordings. Now you can record your macros and I have not tested it yet. I'll give some feedback after I test it. I think uh, this is really exciting. And in scripts you have some new demo scripts and here is this 10 brushes scripts. Uh, you can assign your brushes to your uh, keyboard shortcuts from here. Is really exciting in the grid we have new isometric grid here so if you show grid and we can uh, we can change from isometric uh, to rectangular and vice versa in isometric you can uh, you can create your game assets more conveniently and this is really exciting you can change the uh, grid angle also also we have a multi-threaded brush in the pixel brush and this is really fast as it, uh, en it enhances the brush performance by using all the cores from your CPU if you have a multi-core CPU. And the airbrush now has a, has a new engine and that looks really good. And you can now change the maximum brush size more than 1000 pixel which was, which was not possible previously. Although it needs re restart, you can increase this up to 10,000. It needs restart, but that's a new feature to have. And we now have a normal map. This is the height to normal map. I have not tested this yet, so I have to tweak this in order to get this working. And I also don't know if it's uh, fully functional yet. And we have uh, we used to have some freezing uh, often while uh, being saved in background and that's it, that is also resolved in this uh, particular release in this release we have now pixel grid if you zoom enough you can see the pixel and in the quick settings you can now change the um, change the zoom to 100% at once We have a new quick settings docker and it allows the user to choose the size, opacity and flow presets 
quickly from these settings rather than uh, rather than pulling the sliders and this is really uh, fast and effective so you can just click here and the slider will get updated and your flow and uh, opacity will be changed and this uh, this will increase the workflow speed as well and now i'll talk about a particular feature that i was looking forward to previously in krita uh, while upscaling, I used to encounter several banding problems and uh, usually my workflow includes uh, upscaling because I start with a very small resolution project and it uh, this problem uh, occurred in the 8-bit color profile images. So in order to avoid that, I had to convert that to 16-bit image and then I had to convert that back to the 8-bit image. But in this new release, I can uh, I can choose the filter from here, and we uh, there are some new filters which can uh, prevent that from happening, and that is really exciting for me. So this was the brief overview of Krita 4 Pre Alpha, but I uh, haven't been able to cover all the features of the Krita 4 because it is in Pre Alpha, and there are lots of features that will be added later in the development process. And I have not encountered all the features uh, that are existing in this state also like uh, that there is uh, this new and improved palette and there are lots of imp improvement in smart patch tool and vector tool and there is a, there is a new docker called the comics manager docker that is this uh, I haven't been able to explore all this I will be giving the link in the description you can download and test it and uh, I think this is one of the great releases, one of the greatest releases of uh, Krita and I am really excited about this particular release. What is your opinion? I will be looking forward to your comment in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and share it with your friends. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of my new upload right away. If you are new to Krita. I have an ongoing uh, Krita introductory series uh, right now and you can check them out in the right side of the screen or in the Krita 101 playlist in my channel. Uh, you can check those out. So goodbye, have a great day.